How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. Where are you from? Oh, St. Matthews, a uh, small, small town in South Carolina. How many people live in St. Matthews? <laughs> oh, about 2,000. 2,000 About 2,000, yeah. So Not you... including the ones in the woods. You... Oh, really? It's one yeah. of those deals, huh? <laughs> yeah. The woods, did your parents tell you to stay away from the woods people? Well, it was funny is they say stay away from the woods, but we're in the woods. I don't, there's no difference between where they are and where we are. We're just less woods, I guess. <laughs> there's a clearing of sorts. You cleared a little rectangle. Yeah, you can see the house. That's, that's the difference. <laughs> is it hard to, like, get away with anything when you're in a little town like that? You probably know every single person there, right? In a town like that, you're kind of living off of your family's reputation. It's kind of when, you, when you're growing up, everyone knows your last name. So if you're kind of grown up and basically your last name means something good, you're kind of stuck with that. And if it means something bad, you're kind of stuck with that. Yeah. For me, I kind of... I rode the coattails of my family. They were, they were pretty good people. That's good. Uh, until one day I was uh, coming from someplace, I can't remember where it was, I hit a person in the back with a small uh, truck. And uh, it was my, my brother-in-law's truck. I, I bent the bumper and I pulled over. And, and the cop got my license. He was a state trooper. He wasn't a local guy. I thought it was smart to go home and just go ahead and park the car and pretend it never happened. Don't know what I was thinking. Uh -huh. About 20 minutes later, a guy shows up, local guy, says, uh, hey, you know, we got your son. He pulled over, gave my mom the license because I left the license with him. You know, I forgot that the license has your address on it. That's kind of, you know, I was 17. Come on, I didn't know any better. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, he came to my mom and he said, yeah, your son uh, hit someone, but uh, don't, let him, don't, don't let it happen again. It was that kind of, it's that kind of town. That's you know? nice. Yeah, it's so it's a town. hit and run type of town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and does your whole family have this great voice that you have? I would think that... Th it, it, it's a Coulter man thing, yeah. Were you able to perform in that sort of thing in a town of that size? Well, when I was in high school, I think the first gig I had was like an announcer. I was basically the guy who got onto the intercom in the mornings and I would tell him, uh, the sports, I would tell them the scores, the oh, weather. Really? Yeah, things like that. Who was on the honor roll, who had good grades. That was my... Uh, How would it go? Thing. Would you say good morning students or would the principal throw it to you? Or? Yeah, I would, yeah, I would toss it. So the principal would start. And I think then the guidance council would get in and say some other stuff and then I would come up. And it was my gig and so I, I, I took it very seriously. So I would, I would, you know, <laughs> rehearse it. I would look at it and then I would go on there and I would talk about it and then I would, you know, basically just say what was written. And uh -huh. I'd get off the air and I realized it was like, this is kind of cool because people are starting to ask about me. Like, hey, you know, it's kind of responsibility thing. I was like, oh, this is something that feels right, you know? So it was my first foray into sort of, And when you, know... you did your announcements and then you'd leave the office or wherever they yeah. did it, and then you'd walk into your classroom where pe did people go like, oh, hey. Oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah little... It was already starting to change. I could, I could see. I could start to see the, the, the difference. I was starting to feel myself a little bit, yeah, yeah. Were you bald as a child or did this come <laughs> as an adult? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just going to say, I had, uh, Robert was out here, I had hair envy. I, I have hair envy a lot. Yeah, he does have, he has very, very good hair. Very good head of hair. Yeah. Uh, no, I started this when I was like 20, oh, about 23 or so. That's a ballsy thing to do, to go like, hey, I'm going to shave this head. Well, you know, listen, I had no choice. One day, my, my, my girlfriend, now my wife, was looking outside the balcony, and she looked down, and I was leaving the apartment building, and she looked and noticed that I was thinning in the top. Oh. Yeah. So when I came back in, she said, uh... Uh, she, I don't know how to break this to you, but I can see your scalp. And I'm like, <laughs> you can see my scalp? Yeah, I can kind of see your scalp. And I'm like, what? So I, so I finally looked down. I'm like, what? Wow. Wouldn't and, it have been easier just to get a ground level apartment? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because if, if only I had been there. See, you're, you're gonna, gonna save me, man. <laughs> 20 years of this look. Look what happened. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.